This is a 1965 King Cart with Mac 92, McCullough Mac 92 modified engines with Mako pipes, Hartman clutches. It has updated MCP brakes on it. And it has Hoosier hard compound R80 tires. And we're gonna talk about it a little bit today and explain some things on it. This is, has MCP modern brakes on it, front and rear, on the original King Kart spindles with original King Kart steering. Now King Kart, when it was built in the 60s and then bought for, by Margay in 1966, it was considered one of the premier handling carts of its day winning many national championships in both single and twin. And this is one of the leftover ones that was originally built by the factory. Now this cart's been completely rejigged and re-straightened on our table and built back to racing conditions. These are the MCP master cylinders, billet master cylinders are on it with the bias control adjuster. This is the MCP rear caliper, and it's mounted on the factory King Cart mount, like it was back in the day. The cart has got these handmade ram horn style Mako pipes and our handmade headers on it. And it has this really, really nice mounting system. You see it has a tie rod that goes from the seat to the frame and then the arms that go out, the steel arms, the chrome steel arms that go out and support the pipes. This is just a really, really clean setup. It's very, very sturdy. It has a little bit of give, which will help for vibration on the cart. These have all original King mounts, both the swing mounts that go on the car and the motor mounts that have been chromed with the factory adjuster to adjust the chain adjuster that goes up and down. This was a really unique setup that was on the King cart when it was made. The famous King cart upholstery with a nice big thick jewel pad. It's a very, very comfortable, comfortable car. The dual Ackerman steering on the car with the factory shaft. Now most of this cart was built with NOS parts. All the parts on it, the wheels, the tires, the brakes, all ANN hardware, they're all brand new that are on the car. Pipes, headers, the motors are completely fresh. Every part in them, bearings, seals, points, condensers. The carburetors are all flowed, nice carburetors. And you'll see as this is offered for sale, there's a video all about the motors with pictures on them. It is this beautiful, beautiful metallic sour apple green color. And I also have the factory 1965 King Cobra decals on the car. Now, when Margay bought this car, it was the pre-cart that, that Margay designed the Margay New Breed off of. So I put New Breed style tanks on the car because I always love the look. It really has a racy, racy look. Plus having the fuel up front like that is very, very good for handling. These cars needed front weight. With that extra fuel up there, really helped the handling of the car. Now this has got a unique feel fuel system on it because what we do is is we actually build a fuel reservoir canister let me get a good picture of it here it is here with the king cobra snake on it and if you look down in here you can see the four exit valves there's two two entry valves on each side of it you can see that for the top so the fuel tanks fill this system 
and at the very top there's a bleed and you bleed the system so there's no air in it and then the carburetors can pull the fuel straight from that to feed the carburetors. This way the carburetors never run lean, they always have fuel, they don't have the poundage of the weight of the fuel on the needle and seats in the carburetor, which makes the carburetors work way, way more consistent. Cart has the factory brand new Azusa steering wheel in it, just like it came from the day. It's just a really, really beautiful piece. Now this is a track cart. It is a show cart because everything on it is beautiful, all polished, all chrome. But this cart was built to drive on the track. That's why it has upgraded brakes on it. It's why it has upgraded wheels on it. Um, it does have the Hoosier R R80 hard compound tires. So the tires are basically the same compound that you would have run back in the 60s, but they're a modern tire. So this car is a very, very safe, and fast car. It's gonna stop, it's gonna turn, has all aircraft hardware on it. It's just gonna be an impeccable ride for somebody that either wants to keep it in their garage as a show car or have something that they can take out to the local track and drive and race, have a good time with it. The McCullough engines will be dead reliable on it. So the car has not been started and tuned as of yet. Uh, we leave that up to the buyer. If the buyer wants the cart started and tuned, then we will start and tune the cart, the carburetors and the clutches, and set everything up for the buyer so the thing's all ready to go on the track. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.